Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a plugin which is basically included in a WooCommerce plugin. So with the help of this plugin you will be able to, uh, what should I say, you will be able to categorize your product underneath a brand option, right? So if you want to make a separate category you can do that as well but the thing is this is not included in the category section, this is something like creating a brand for a particular product like if you have multiple shoes you want to align them with a, a particular brand you can do that let me show you this plugin called as like ultimate woocommerce brand plugin so with the help of this you will be able to create uh, multiple brands within a single website right so if you want to read the whole documentation section you can always come to this code canyon official website and you can read out everything about it okay cool let me give you a live preview how it is going to work and the best part about this particular plugin is that it has over 1500 sales that is really good right so coming back here and if you can see this is a super easy plugin to install and everything and every documentation section is super easy so let's get started i will guide you how you can uh, install this particular plugin on your WordPress website. First of all, you need to buy this plugin. You can always buy it from the official website or else you know how to buy it, right? Okay, now moving forward, the second option and the second step is that we have to go to our website. This is my website, youtube.srmayronclub.com. This is our website in which we create our tutorial videos for you guys, okay? So as you can see, there is an e-commerce website up and running on this particular domain. So if you want me to teach you how you can make a really simple and easy e-commerce looking e-commerce website with all the free functionalities, I mean to say all the free resources like Elementor, which is one of the best page builder out there and WooCommerce plugin, which is used to make e-commerce website and all payment method and everything. Do let me know in the comment section. I'll just make a video about it. Okay, moving forward. First of all, when you come to your website, you need to log into a dashboard. So how you can do that? It's pretty simple. Just come to your website URL. In my case, it's youtube.smheronclub.com. Type slash WP admin and you will be redirected to your dashboard. So, uh, so if you're logging in for the first time, it will ask you for the username and password, which you have given uh, when you were installing WordPress on your hosting. So if you remember that, that is really good. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour what we are having on the left hand side. Okay, cool. Let me give you a quick tour what we have right now. On the left hand side, you can see there are general basic settings with the help of which you will be able to manage your website. So I will just give you the main basic important setting which you are going to deal today. Okay, under the appearance hood, you will uh, get to know what are the themes, which theme you are using. You can customize the theme, you can uh, add widget, delete widget, you can create menu and you can edit the menu, header, footer and I'm using Astra theme. That's why it's showing Astra option and there is a theme editor. I personally recommend you not to go under that section until and unless you are a professional developer, right? Okay, forget about it. Under the plugin section, you will be able to add or delete certain plugins. So basically plugin helps you to extend some kind of functionality into your website. If you want a slider on your website, you just have to install a slider plugin and you will be having a slider up and running smoothly on your website as it is cool. Under the user section, you will be able to create multiple user with the help of user. You will know which role has assigned to which person like if you want uh, multiple admins on a single website you can have that no issues in that okay so under the tools section you will be able to find import export tool you can check the site health you can export your personal data erase your personal data and all that so under the set setting section you will find general reading writing setting discussion setting so like basically if you want to enable or disable the discussion or the comment section you can do that and permalink basically permalink are those uh, structure of the url which you want to set for your website right so today we are going to do deal with the plugin section we have to come here on the left hand side and add a new plugin so here by default you can see there are a lot of free plugin and paid plugin no, I mean to say there are a lot of free plugin which has been by default provided by WordPress. But the thing is in market there are paid plugin as well. But why generally people go for the paid plugin because they have extended functionality. Free plugin don't have extended functionality. They lock you up like 
for example let's take this plugin this is one of the most famous plugin for seo yoast seo so basically with the help of this plugin you will be able to do seo for your single page or a single article okay whenever you are using this plugin you might know that in a single page seo when you are doing a single page seo or a seo for a article you are only able to add one single key phrase right that is limited only in the free seo plugin seo yoast plugin but if you took their premium plugin you will be able to add up to five key phrases that is good for seo right so that's why i generally prefer you if you have small amount of money to invest in the initial stage of your business i'll always suggest you to go for a premium theme and a premium plugin that's it okay cool let's upload this particular plugin onto our website click here select the file if i'm sure that is this one brand deal plugins install now installation totally depend upon your internet speed okay as you can see it has been uploaded and let's activate this particular plugin okay so let me tell you first of all we have to create brands and play with some settings so let's come to the woocommerce section and here click under the settings section you will see a new tab has been generated this is called brand setting and i will just tell you which uh, thing you have to check so like uh, let it be this both categories and uh, product details page brand title let it be like this brand display type we just want to display the brand title we don't want to display the image or the image name and title okay here brand display option let it be uh, above the card option add to cart i will show you where it is and we don't have to add anything here uh, let it select this add above the card and just save it cool now this is the time to create some multiple brands under the product section you will see brands this was not earlier there so i have just created a fake nike brand let's create more grand uh, brand i mean like let's create hp and let's create dell any brand whatever you are selling like it's a plant store i guess but i want to sell dell product that's simply cool right so let's come back to the uh, all product option and we will assign each and every product to a single brand as you can see now it has a brand option i'll just take this example aluminium plant and now you have a option to assign them in a brand as you can see on the right hand side there are multiple brand option if you click on dell and update this and just check the uh, what should i say the product page go here and now you will see the brand is selected as dell and if you click on dell it will automatically show the all product which are listed under dell uh, brand right right now we only have one product under the dell brand so that's how it works so it builds it's simply basically like a category but uh, like we have to figure it out a way so that people will know that this is a different brand rather than creating a different category like category is plant but the thing is brand is dell you get my point that was sarcastic but i want to end this video right now i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one